What was your approach to negotiating an offer insurance? Yeah, it's just looking at all the terms. Luckily in this market, it's usually picking the best offer. If we're in a buyer's market, basically the same it's thing. The, that, same. the same thing that we said in the other video where it's knowing the buyer situation and being able to, to accommodate their situation mm -hmm. to make it a, a win for them as mm -hmm. well. And through negotiation, it'll depend on kind of how the agent wants to do it. It'll depend on the condition of the property, yeah. location of the property, like all of those, all of those things. So it's very specific. So there's not a, a blanket answer yeah. and there's not a blanket answer for any of these. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's not a blanket, that's the funny part. The that's why part. these videos are so long. <laughs> yeah, this is way too long. But it, that's, that's what's good is that there isn't a blanket answer for any of these things because every time we experience something different, it changes our thought process on how we do things. And especially, it's normally when you have a bad experience. Because when we have deals fall through or we lose offers, you start going, okay, how do I next time not lose this deal? Okay, now I have to go one step further, one right. step further. And this is why it's important having an agent that has done a few deals. Because what makes you a good agent isn't just being a good agent, it's going through the process right. over and over and over from start to finish going, yeah, I know what they're gonna say, that's not gonna be a big deal, we can get a fix at closing, don't worry about right. it. Well, when I first started, it's like the AC doesn't work. What, you're not gonna check it? You have to give us $5,000? Yeah, now. we need the money now. And now it's like, oh, then turn on, we're good. <laughs> like, what do you mean we're good? We'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah you start moving. to learn the yeah. tricks and the tools mm -hmm. and the things that can keep a deal together. Because I think a, a huge part of being a good real estate agent mm -hmm is being able to keep things together. Yeah. Shit, like stuff comes up. It's yeah. just the way it is. It always does. It's just the way it is. There's no always perfect does. property. Every, most of what's out there is resale, right? Mm -hmm. So you're buying it used. Someone's lived in there for however long, mm -hmm. 10 years, like there's gonna be stuff wrong with this house. Mm -hmm. The question is how do we navigate it so that we can keep this deal together. We can make buyer feel comfortable. We can make seller feel okay with it. And at the end of the day, everyone closes and we can feel good about it. Yeah. And you can't just do that without knowing what you're doing as an agent. Because if you're just if you're just going blindly through it and just kind of going through the motions, you're either gonna put your clients in a bad position or you're gonna get taken advantage of. They're gonna buy a house that they hate. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know a little bit of the, the, the tricks of the trade. The yeah. nuances. So those are the questions ChatGPT wants you to ask when you're buying and selling real estate. Tell us what you think in the comments.